Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that two dice A and B are rolled. So both of them will have the separate outcomes from one to six. So in total, you will have 36 outcomes there. The question further tells us, let the numbers obtained on A and B be alpha and beta respectively. So alpha goes from one to six and beta also goes from one to six. After that, the question tells us that the variance of alpha minus beta is equal to P over Q where P and Q are co-prime. Then the further question tells us to find out sum of positive divisors of P is equal to what? So we have to find out the correct answer choice for this question which is given to us. And the question has the options there as 48. The second answer choice being 31. The third 72 and the last answer choice given to us which is 36. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. So I know that if I start off with the solution, I have two dice rolled, which is one A, which has the outcomes alpha, which goes from one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the other dice B, which has the outcomes beta, which goes from again, one to six. Now, once I have these outcomes, basically I have my outcomes from 1, 1, 1, 2 till 1, 6. Then it goes from 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, 2 till 3, 6. Likewise, it goes till 6, 6. So in total, basically, you will have 36 outcomes here. And once you have 36 outcomes, that is this 6 values of alpha and 6 values of beta. If I just find out alpha minus beta, that is basically the difference between the two of them. So I can see this six and one, the difference between them basically becomes five and that occurs for which of the outcomes? Let's see that. So cases, it only occurs for six, one. So how many outcomes out of 36? So it is one out of 36. So probability of getting that difference as five is one over 36. If I want the sum or the difference as four, it can be obtained by six, two which is basically six minus two, four, or it can also be obtained by five, one. So five comma one. So basically it becomes two over 36. Then for the sum three, uh, the difference three, I can have it as six, three, five, two, and four, one. So I have the difference in all the three cases as three, so three over 36. Then for difference two, I can again have six, four, five, three, four, two, and three one so you have four over 36 then for difference one i have that as six five i have five four four three three two two one so that also gives you difference as one five over 36 then you have the difference zero which is six six five five four four three three two two one one so you have six over 36 there so you have this different probabilities. Now, if I want to see, I can also have a negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So for negative one, I'll have the same outcomes just in the opposite sense. So I will have five, six, four, five, then three, four, two, three, and one. Two. So what do you observe here is same number of outcomes will be there because you are just inverting them. So it will have the same probability five over 36 for this case where you have to find the difference as alpha minus beta. Again, for minus two, it will be same as the difference two. So you will have four over 36 as the probability because you're just inverting the outcomes. Then you will have three over 36, two over 36 and one over 36. So you don't need to write the cases for each of them. You can just find the probabilities. Now for all the possible differences that I have, I have the probabilities with me. So if I want to find the variance, First of all, I'll have to find the expected value of x squared. And I also have to find the expected value of x. So first of all, for expected value of x, I, x squared, I can have 
the summation of all the differences of alpha minus beta from minus 5 to plus 5 and it is x squared and probability of x. So from minus 5 to plus 5, I'm just squaring all of them and taking the product of that with the probability. So squaring 5 and the probability that is 1 over 36. So 5 squared into 1 over 36, 4 squared into 2 over 36, 3 squared into 3 over 36, 2 squared over into 4 over 36, 1 squared into 5 over 36, then you have 0 squared into 6 over 36, which is basically 0. Then minus 1 squared, that is again with 5 over 36, minus 2 squared, 4 over 36, minus 3 squared, 3 over 36, minus 4 squared into 2 over 36, and minus 5 squared into 3 over 36. Sorry, 1 over 36. Now, once I have this, I can see this 5 squared 25, this minus 5 squared is also 25, and you're multiplying with the same probabilities. So I can just write that as two times of 5 squared, it's basically 25, so 25 over 36. Again, 4 squared and minus 4 squared, both are 16 into 2 over 36, so 2 times of 32 over 36. Then next, you have for this, 3 squared, 9 into 3, 27 over 36. And minus 3 squared is also 9, 9 into 3, 27 over 36. So again, 2 times 27 over 36 as well. Then for this, you get 4 into 4, which is 16. Here also you get 4 into 4, which is 16. So 16 over 36. Then you get 1 squared, which is 1 into 5, 5. And this also becomes 5, so 5 over 36. And the last is 0. So you get from here 2 times... 25 plus 32, which is basically 57, 64, 84, 94, 100, 105. So 105 over 36. So from here, you get this cancel with this and you get 105 over 18. If I try to further cancel it down, I get this as 3 3s is 9, 15 3 5s is 15 and 3 6 is this. So 35 over 6 is the expected value of x square. But I also have to find the expected value of x, that is e of x. So let's do that as well. So expected value of x, we know. It's summation of all the values of alpha minus beta from minus 5 to plus 5. x into probability of that x. So if I just find the sum of that, let's do that. So 5 into 1 over 36. You're just finding the sum of that. 5 into 1 over 36. 4 into 2 over 36. 3 into 3 over 36, 2 into 4 over 36, 1 into 5 over 36, 0, minus 1 into 5 over 36 again. Then you have minus 2 into 4 over 36. Then you have minus 3 into 3 over 36, minus 4 into 2 over 36, and minus 5 into 1 over 36. Now what I get from here is basically, this is the same number, but with a positive and negative sign. So this gets cancelled. This also gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. This is zero anyways. So basically you get expected value of x as zero here. Once you get expected value of x as zero, you can just find the variance here. So variance of x, it's given by e of x squared minus e of x the whole squared. So that gives you 35 over 6 minus 0 square. So 35 over 6 is the answer for the variance. And if you see the answer choice, it's told to me that variance of alpha minus beta is 35 over 6, which is equal to P over Q, where P and Q were told to us that they are co-prime. So from here, if I just compare the numerators and the denominators, I get P as 35 and Q as 6. And if I see both of them basically are co-prime numbers, when I have both of them co-prime numbers, the question asks me to find out sum of positive divisors of P. So let's find the positive divisors of P, that's 35. So if I find out the positive divisors of P, I get 1, 35, 5, 7. So basically there are only four positive divisors. If I just find some of them, 
it gives me 35 plus 7, 42, plus 5, 47, and plus 1, 48. So I get the answer for the question, that is 48. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the uh, question asked to us, it's option A. So A becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of probability, where two dies are rolled for the outcomes. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.